Okay, now let's see example four, another similar questions. A car traveled from Kuala Lumpur to Ipoh. It moved with a speed 100 kilometers per hour for the first 150 kilometers and then uh, changes his speed to 90 kilometers per hour for the rest of the journey. Given that the distance from Kuala Lumpur to Ipoh is uh, 240 kilometer, find the average speed of the car for the whole journey. Now, uh, just now we learned that average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time, right? So in this case, the total distance, the total distance is uh, 240 kilometers. Two, four, zero kilometers. Okay. Then uh, how about total time? The total time taken. Uh? So the question say uh, it moved with a speed 100 kilometers per hour for the first 150 kilometers um, from the formula or from the equations V equals to D over T. The T equal to the distance divided by the speed and the distance travel is 150 kilometers and the speed is 100 uh, kilometers per hour. So therefore, uh, the time taken is 1.5 hours. Okay, that's for the first 150 kilometers. Okay, and then for the rest of the journey, the rest of the journey is um, the distance is 240 kilometers minus 150 kilometers, right? Okay, because uh, the the total distance is the 240 kilometers and uh, it already traveled 150 kilometers. So therefore the rest of the journey will be 240 minus 150 kilometers. Eh? Okay. <coughs> uh, the time taken is equal to the distance divided by the speed, right? And the distance travel will be uh, 240 kilometers minus 100, 150 kilometers. Eh? 240 kilometers minus 150 kilometers and then divided by the speed okay now for the rest of the journey it travel with uh, 90 kilometers per hour so it's uh, 90 kilometers per hour okay so it's equal to 90 divided by 90 which is equal to one hour okay so the total time taken is 1.5 hours from here and then uh, plus another one hour, which is equal to uh, 2.5 hours, okay? Uh, now we can find the average speed. So the average speed is equal to the total distance travel 240 kilometers divided by the total time taken 2.5 hours, okay? 2.5 hours. Uh, by using your calculator, you should get the answer 96 kilometer per hour. Okay, so that's the answer. So that's how we find the average speed. We, we find the total distance travel and then we find the total time taken. Okay, the total distance and the total time taken can be found by using this formula. Speed equal to distance divided by time. Okay.